Well, hello, Patriots. How you doing? Well, yeah, the other day in New York and Long Island, <coughs> a uh, a fill election was being placed for the deported George Santos and Tom Swazi defeated Mazi Phillip. <coughs> Which is quite amazing, considering, you know, it's always Democrats that call the party, the GOP, the party of old white men, but here they voted for white men over the GOP, immigrant, black, Jewish woman. So much for DEI, huh? So the party of immigrants voted for the ultimate candidate, a immigrant black Jewish woman. And they went with the American citizen white man. I thought he was the enemy of the country, according to the Dems. And he's a citizen too. Lately, the Democrats have been putting Ukraine and everybody else and migrants above the U.S. citizen. Just another example of the ends justifies the means with the Democrats. It's never about race. It's never about gender or what you think you're on side. It's, are you a leftist? Do you hate the Constitution? You hate the United States. That is what it's all about with the Democrat Party. Let them tell you no different. I have a link down below. What's your opinion? I'd like to know. Like, subscribe. Keep the country in prayer. The GOP has about, I think, a one or two vote majority now only. So don't worry, November's around the corner. And with the latest report, well, the Robert Hur report, which the Dems are not crying about, even though it was an Obama Democrat setup. And uh, you gotta admit, Kamala Harris did a terrible acting job the other day. Well, she's a lightweight anyway, but. <laughs> Expect Gavin Newsom or Michelle Obama to keep warm up in the bullpen. Because even the news media is turning against Biden. I tell you, I've been telling you, the setup has been going on for a while. They're kicking in the second gear and soon will be kicking in the third gear. Talk to you later. Good day, everyone.